right, Trevor. What game are we playing tonight? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Uh, what do you think of Lord of the Rings? I... of the game or of everything else? Well, you tell me. Well, I really like the movies and the storyline of Lord of the Rings. I think it's really well written and everything. And I think the game fits along with the storyline really well. I like that it's cooperative, so you play as a team. You all win or you all lose together. Yeah. Um, I like how creative the makers were with putting in stuff from the storyline into the game. But it's just really the same thing every time you play it. It's not a lot of variety. Yeah. So you were excited to play it at first, right? Yeah. Could hardly wait. Mm -hmm. And I think when I started explaining the rules, you started to get a little sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were long. <laughs> yeah, they were long. Were they descriptive enough? They didn't do a great job at explaining the things. The rule book could have been a little more precise and descriptive because some things were like, what? But um, for the most part, it tells you what to do pretty well. All right, well, let's take a look at it. So here's the game board. Why don't you tell us a little bit what we're looking at? Okay, so here we have all the players right here. There can be five. They're all hobbits. And here we have Sauron. Right here you have the ring. And whoever has the ring is the ring bearer at the time. And if he dies, then the game ends and you lose. Okay. Here are cards that you can get throughout the game that allow you to do different things. Yeah. Here we have Gandalf cards that can be used at certain times, but they can only be used once each. Here we've got tiles that have different symbols on them. Here we have event tiles and shields and markers. There's a lot to keep track of, and when you play it for the first time, it's really overwhelming. Is that? Okay, so the one up top is the main board. Right here? Yeah, how does that work? Yeah, so um, when your Hobbit, everyone starts out on number zero. They're numbered uh, zero to 15. It's called the corruption line. And if you, for some reason, have to move up on the corruption line, you probably won't have to move that far. But if you move up, then you get closer and closer to Sauron, who gets closer and closer to you. And if you land on the same space as Sauron, then you die. Okay. And you're taken out of the game. Dang. If the ring bearer lands on Sauron, then everyone loses. Okay. So you play off of that. And then I see also circles where your marker is. Yeah. So right here, it explains which scenario boards you have, which are these. Okay. Let's take a look at the scenario boards. So the first scenario board is Moria. On these boards, we have more markers that if you play these Hobbit cards here, so if you played a tree, you would move one on the tree marker. Or if you played uh, fighting, then you would move one on the fighting marker. Okay, and what's the point? How do you know when you're done with the scenario board? Once you're done with the scenario board is when this marker has gotten all the way to the end. On the main activity. On the main activity, or this marker has gotten to the end of there. And those are bad events. Yeah. Well, can you show me quickly what the uh, other scenario boards look like? Okay. So, let's clear off this first. Each board has double sides. So, on this side, Scott Moria and Helm's Deep on the other side. Okay. That's another action. scenario. Okay. This, on the other board, is Shelob's Lair, the giant spider. Yeah. And Mordor, where they destroy the ring. Yeah. Fine. Now, how many players do you think it's best to play with? Um, I think it's best to play with um, two or three. If you go to four or five, it gets tricky, because you're all having to do something, and it's really hard. But if you're up for a challenge, you can do that. Yeah, so the more people, the more likely someone's going to die. Right. <laughs> Pretty much. 
All right, so what would you rate this game overall? I would rate it about a three meeple. It's fun, but it's, like I said, it's not full of variety. Once you play it once and a couple of times, you notice that the same events keep occurring, and there's a lot of tiles in these that seem to stay the same. Yeah. Okay. So you play it, pull it out once in a while? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm.